Yeah, good. good luck with that. Now, two recent studies have revealed that ultra-processed food significantly increases our risk of high blood pressure, heart attacks and strokes. Now, we all know that fizzy drinks and sweets are bad for us, but some people were surprised to see that bread is also on the list of ultra-processed foods that we should be avoiding. Mm. I didn't know this. Did you know this? I didn't know I, this. Well, no. sort of the white, sort of... The, mm. the, the nice stuff. The tasty stuff. <laughs> you said, no, it's not going to be good. It's too good to be true. Uh, health expert Megan Rossi is here to tell you what you need to know when it comes to enjoying your favourite loaf of bread. Because they're not all bad, are they? They absolutely aren't. I'm a huge fan of bread. And I think there's just a few tricks at the supermarket we should get people to start thinking about. Because we know that actually bread is a really important source of fibre mm. in, in the British diet. So if we cut that out, we wouldn't have enough fibre. And we know that's so beneficial for you know a myriad of things. But there are some... Uh, brands out there that are adding in extra things like added sugars, added refined oils and these food additives like emulsifiers, which essentially, like, if you're making bread at home, you wouldn't, you wouldn't add. No. And is it to make it last? Why do they do it? To make yeah, it last? To make it, yeah, to make it last longer, but also to make the texture a little bit more moorish. Uh -huh. And that's this whole issue with these ultra-processed foods, right? They contain a whole lot of ultra-refined ingredients, and therefore, when you eat them, they've kind of been pre-digested. So you actually don't feel very full, and then you want to have extras to kind of so, fill you so up. They're, they're pre-digested? Pre-digested, yeah. So instead of just containing things like, you know, your wheat flour, they contain elements of that. So they've got added wheat starch in it, added wheat gluten in it, instead of the whole package. Okay. So it makes you want to eat more? It does. So then you indeed. buy more? Exactly, then you buy more. Oh, my God, and then that's also, awful. Yeah, and you actually, do, um, through the digestive process, burn less calories. So if you had a processed slice of bread versus, you know, a quality sourdough one, actually you'd burn more calories with the sourdough through the digestive process. Because that pre-digestion is really kind of where we think some of the issues with it's these ultra It's so incredible food. that we don't know such basic stuff about our basic foods that we eat every day, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. And I think the whole area of digestion, we're starting to really fine-tune that and go, oh, actually, we can't really have our cake and eat it too. And mm. some of these things that we, we're just replacing and thinking, you know, could have... Problem is, Megan, it's cheap. You know, cheaper the than stuff your with the nasties in is much yeah. cheaper. I mean, much, much cheaper. Yeah. You know? And I think we need to appreciate that cost of living's on the mm. high, so we can't expect everyone to get these really expensive sourdough breads. But like I said, there are some, some tricks to have a look at when you are shopping to make sure that you're where you can, your budget's there, making slightly better options. Show us the tricks. OK. Why don't Brioche, you said... He's starting bad, because I got quite excited. I was like, yes, we can have brioche. <laughs> Look, we can have everything, right? I think it's just about looking at how much we're having of them. Yeah. And just being aware. I just want people to be empowered with knowing that, yeah, this is an ultra-processed food. If you have too much, you've got these higher risk of, of things like heart issues. Yeah. OK, so, so there are sometimes food. Okay. There are sometimes When you're saying sometimes, what, what, sometimes every day or well, sometimes... It depends, like, if uh, you... <laughs> if you're used to having them every day, then I'd say, OK, look, let's cut them back to once a week. If you have them once a week, I'd say, OK, let's move them to once a month. Mm. Really? And not See, ideal to have. French toast with brioche, different level. Yeah, So maybe yeah, yeah. it's a little treat, kind of do it As that a treat, way. once a month. I think once that's, a month. you know, okay. that's great. I mean... If he's used to having them all, let's not take his favourite okay. food away from him. See this pile here? This happens in my house with my sons <laughs> at about half ten at night and the toaster gets a hammering. Yes. And they're like, oh, I'm hungry, yeah. and this gets demolished. It's a familiar yeah. side. If you have something like a sourdough, then actually it'll keep you fuller for longer. So the white bread, you know, actually it does contain some nutrients, so it's not all bad, mm. um, but we certainly know that it, you know, doesn't have much of that fibre in it. It contains a whole lot of food additives, such as these emulsifiers and often added sugar. But not all brands, right? So when you go to the supermarket, make sure you actually check the label and have a look what's in it. And if it looks like ingredients that's not your standard flour, water, mm. yeast, which helps the bread rise, and salt, then actually it's probably considered an ultra-processed So food. the less ingredients on that little mm. bit of ingredient label, the better? When it comes to bread, when except for things like added seeds, they're always a win. Yeah. Uh, but having a look on that, you want it to be fairly short. What are the red flag ingredients? Because we all remember all of them, one or two. Yeah, so I would say added sugar and then added emulsifiers. emulsifiers. So they're quite long names. If you look at it, you're like, oh, my gosh, I've been eating this for, you know, 50 yeah. years. Um, so, yeah, it's just starting to be a little bit more aware based on this new landmark of these. Okay. Um, some people think, well, I'll go for one of those 50-50 types of bread because then that's better for me. Yeah, look, it's a step up <clears> in terms of fibre, but actually when we think about the additional refined oils and those emulsifiers and preservatives, it's got the same in it. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Oh, yeah. we're kidding ourselves. How oh, yeah, we really are. I hate it when, when good food is actually bad food in fancy dress.
<laughs> sometimes it can be manipulated. I don't know. It's unfair. <laughs> it, is, it is a little bit unfair. But that's why I want people to be empowered by looking at the labels and going, hey, actually, that's not as healthy as I've been led yeah. to believe. And um, what about brown, uh, whole meal? Whole meal, whole meal, whole. whole. It's yes. got a hole in so it. So it's got the added fibre in it, which is great. But again, just checking the labels because a lot of these ones actually have added sugar because really? they know that our, our palate likes sweet stuff. So they want us to buy more and eat more. So they're adding in the, the sugar, which you wouldn't normally, if you're making brown bread at home, you wouldn't find. Yeah. So checking the label. We think because it's flat, not squishy, it's better for us. True or false? That is true. People think that, but actually it's not, right? Stop it. So I know my husband loves wraps and, you know, before I met him, he'd have wraps most days. And when I met him, I was just checking the labels as I do. And I was like, do you know what's in this? There's so many of these ultra processed ingredients. God, that's so um, cool. As well as sugar and palm oil and things like that, which again, aren't great for our heart. So I've switched him over. There is good news here, guys, to these pita breads, ah, right? More delicious. More that. delicious. Uh, better, yeah, I'd say better. better. But also much cheaper as well. Mm -hmm. So this is a really affordable option. Now it does have, you know, one or two of these ultra processed ingredients, but it doesn't have added sugar. It doesn't have the emulsifiers and it doesn't have the added oil. Well, most brands anyway. So do yeah, check the label again, but that definitely is something I keep in my freezer. So yeah. here we go, the holy grail, the sourdough, which doesn't last as long. You buy a sourdough and by the next day, it's almost like a brick. So yeah. it's like expensive and it's, you know, yeah. you've got to eat it on the day. Absolutely, and the, the freezer is always a good option for, for the sourdough, but also mm. keep in mind that there's legit sourdough, like this one from the bakery, and these kind of more fake sourdough. So there's mm. three things to keep in mind to spot a legit sourdough. You want the ones with the big holes in it, because that means it's been fermented using wild yeast and good bacteria. Ah. You want it to taste a little bit sour? Yeah. Is that like some that of the better. benefit? Absolutely. And then also you want it to be a little bit chewy. Yeah. yeah. So check out those three things. And so this is the supermarket one. You'll see that actually, it's not really legit sourdough. No. Uh, I mean, so, it looks totally different, actually. Yeah, exactly. Like Interesting side fact. Why is sourdough always a map of Australia? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's my favourite brand and there I'm Australian. Go. Yeah, it must be it. Okay. That's what it is. That's what it is. Now, listen, also, welcome back, by the way. Yeah. You've been very busy since we last had you. How old is the baby? Six weeks. Cooper James. There he is. Oh, my yeah. word. <laughs> Cooper. Oh, oh He's going to have the healthiest gut of any child. Yeah, I am. I'm very focused on that. It's my little experiment. I've done it with my older child, Archie and it seems to be working so um and how's Archie more. enjoying being with yeah brother? I mean you know a few eye gouges here and there but yeah. otherwise I, it's nothing but love <laughs> well, good stuff. well congratulations yeah, to well, you all thanks, all. Thanks, thanks, thanks for all this back. yeah got to buy the expensive stuff I know, I know that's, that's it. what it is no. or this one bargain oh, oh yeah no yeah, yes yeah, good yeah, yeah, yeah. dipped in olive oil delicious Lovely. thanks so much Megan great stuff in just a moment